Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys I am going to teach you how to install Stars and Soda Online onto your Nexar 127 SLT. If you have not seen my video guys for unboxing this Stars and Soda Online I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started guys. So guys, before we can install Star Sense Auto Line, you need to prepare your telescope so that you can install your Star Sense Auto Line on your 127 SLT telescope. So as you know guys, whenever you buy a 127 SLT telescope, it comes with this laser viewfinder. So this is attached onto your duct rail here on top of your telescope. So the first thing that you need to do is to remove this laser pointer from your telescope by unscrewing this screw that is holding this laser viewfinder so gently unscrew it so that it is loosen up and then gently slide it out so as to remove your laser viewfinder let's keep that aside and now your telescope is ready to take the star sensor to align now let us prepare the star sensor to align so that we can install this star sensor to align on this duct rail that is present on 127 SLT telescope so guys, so as to prepare your star sensor to align, as you know guys, this is full fleshed mount that comes along with your star sensor to align already mounted on your star sensor to align equipment. But this mount cannot be installed on your 127 SLD telescope because it has a smaller duct rail. So you need to use this attachment to install this uh, star sensor to align onto your 127 SLT telescope. To do that guys, you have this Allen wrench that came along with this star sensor to align. So as to unscrew this mounting bracket which is present on this star sensor to align and remove this mounting bracket and replace with this mounting bracket so that you can install it on your 127 SLT telescope. Let's uh, unscrew this and remove this bracket and then install this smaller duct rail based uh, mount onto your star sensor to align. To do that, let's open the wrench. This is the Allen wrench guys that came along with it. So you have to do is put this Allen wrench and lighten this up so that unscrew this screw so that you can remove this bigger mount and replace it with the smaller one. So to do that as well, so first thing is you have to unscrew this front side as well so that you can remove this bracket after it is loosened up. So gently unscrew this. This will expose your lens of the camera guys. So ensure that you are at a clean place and your hands are clean so that you do not accidentally touch the lenses so as to damage the lens or put your fingerprints on the lens and keep it safe. So guys, this is how you remove your front lobe. So let's keep that aside. And this is the mount that is there on the top. So now since it is loosened up, gently move it out. Ensure that guys in front you see you have the camera inside. Do not touch the lens of the camera so that you do not damage the camera and put your fingerprints accidentally. Let's keep that aside for now and let's prepare the mounting bracket that we have to use. So in the same way, here you have the screw that you have to loosen up before you can install this mount. So loosen it up nice enough so that you have enough space. So now I have loosened it up. You can see here you have the space here guys. So you can lose more if you want if it, it feels still tight. But then since the bracket is not moving, I have enough space to put it onto this star sensor to align. So guys, ensure that this shape is in front side so that this your bracket comes at the back of your star sensor to align so that it is mounting in the front. So this is how you put it onto your star sensor to align and then you gently push it back till it is tight and straight now your mounting bracket is already aligned now we can tighten the screw up with the allen wrench do not tighten it too much just enough to hold this bracket onto the mount now you can screw back this front door that it comes with so 
so now I am screwing this down so that it is tight it's a long screw guys so you have to do a little bit more than usual so that it is at its correct place and it is tight enough as you can see guys the bracket is properly mounted on the back side as well this cut here normally adjust your stars and sort of line as well so ensure that your notch or this angle is facing backward this is the correct way of installing this smaller bracket onto your stars and sort of line so now it is tightened up now let us tighten it more a little bit the side screw so that it is it in place and will not move so this is how you install the mounting bracket onto your star sensor door line. Now let's put the bracket onto your telescope. So this is how your duct rail it is present on your 127 SLT telescope. This is how you do it. So now the way you have to install is this duct rail should slide from front side to the back and it will lock it to its place. And then you tighten the screw on the side so as to fix your star sense auto align onto your telescope ensure that your lens of star sense auto align is facing onto the front side of the telescope so that it is in line with what your telescope is viewing so this is how guys you install your star sense auto align onto your telescope now let us see how to change the remote and connect your star sense auto align onto your mount using this cable that came along with this star sense auto align guys i have now installed my telescope onto my celestron mount that it came with now i have to connect this star sense auto align onto this mount star sense auto align can automatically control this mount so as to align your telescope automatically so i'm going to show you guys how to connect your star sense auto align onto your mount so guys so as now you can see the port of your star sense auto align is visible here this is rs232 port and there is a usb port as well so you can control this Stars and sort of align using two methods using your USB port and using your mount as well so as to automatically move your mount. So I will be using this RS232 port which is available on your stars and sort of align so as to connect it to your mount so that it can be autonomous. To do that, guys, it comes along with this uh, RS232 cable. So one side of this cable will go on to this stars and sort of align. I'm gonna put it here. And then and the another side of this cable will go on to the mount now let us see where we can install this second side of the wire onto your mount so guys the second side of the wire can go into this auxiliary port which is present onto your celestron mount uh, but guys I am using here this auxiliary port splitter as you know guys I've already installed the focus motor on this 127 SLT telescope if, uh, if you have not seen this video guys I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out I need two auxiliary ports so as to connect my motor and the star sense auto line both so I am using this auxiliary port splitter so as to connect two peripherals using one auxiliary port which is present on your Celestron mount so if you have not seen video of this unboxing of this uh, Oxport splitter by Celestron I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out So guys the second side of the wire which is coming out of the star sense auto align I will put in the second port of this auxiliary port splitter so as to connect it uh, to your Celestron mount so guys using this Oxport splitter I am using two of the peripherals one is autofocus motor and the star sense auto align to connect to my Celestron mount now let us connect the hand controller as well guys so as you can see guys this is the normal next star plus hand controller that comes normally with your Celestron mount so this is the controller by default available whenever you purchase 127 SLT telescope so this controller is not going to work with your star sense auto align so this is the new controller that came along with your star sense auto align this is your star sense controller that came along with your star sense auto align so this is the controller that we are going to use to control your star sense auto align and all the functions which is present as of now on your celestron telescope now let us connect this remote control and remove this remote control from your 127 SLT telescope mount so we are going to keep this aside and install this remote control onto your mount this is the control that it looks like and this is the wire that is coming out of your remote control this is 
again uh, RS232 port which is going to go in this hand controller marked port which is there on your mount you just have to connect it here and it is ready to power on now let us remove the sticker from the front and power this up so this is the first boot guys this is verifying the packages which is present or peripherals which is installed this is asking if it is a new telescope if you are using star sense with more than one telescope you can use one of the additional user profile associated with them allowing you to have different settings for each setup press enter so guys if you are using this star sensor to align with more than one telescope you can create a profiles onto this hand controller and save so that whenever you switch the controller or switch the star sensor to align onto your new telescope it will already remember the settings let's press enter so this is asking for the profiles that it you are going to use so it can save more than one guys as you can see it says 0 1 and 2 so I can choose one for the first one the profile is saved press to align and select so you can press L and align star sense auto align change the location back to California United States you can scroll down to select your city and then uh, set up your star sensor to align. So guys, this is how you correctly install your star sensor to align onto your next star 127 SLT telescope. I will be doing another video guys on how to set up the star sensor to align, how to configure the remote control and how to align it to the stars and everything. So ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you don't miss out on my future videos. So this is it guys. This concludes the setup of your star sensor auto align onto your 127 SLT telescope. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.